Hi Pisces, welcome back to my channel. This will be a general three card spread, having a look to see how your special person might be feeling about you and your situation around this period. Uh, I do appreciate all the likes, shares, subscribes. It does mean so much to me. So thank you again, Pisces, for doing those things. I really do appreciate it. Uh, let's jump into the reading. Three cards. This reading can be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Let's have a look and see how this special person of yours might be feeling, whether this is an ex, a spouse, a lover, someone you'd like to date, someone that you're no longer in contact with, uh, or anyone romantically involved. Pisces, how do they feel? Okay, let's start off with the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands is traditionally seen as a card of celebration, of unions, of love, partnerships. It's often seen as the marriage card. So this card might be applicable to those that are married, engaged, or have had serious talks about having those things, or in a long-term committed relationship as well. Not necessarily though, the ones can also represent fire signs, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. But the Four of Wands is someone feeling, or there is definitely someone here around you, who's feeling very happy. This is about harmony and feeling at a very good place in your connection. They feel like they want to celebrate something with you. Celebrate your connection, celebrate love, or it's the type of mood you put them in, Pisces. It's the effect that you have on them. Uh, this is very, very powerful. Look, there's a lot of people in the cards and it's almost like they're brought together by some sort of celebration or union. So for some of you, there might be someone here who's feeling like they have approval or blessings. So for example, some of you might have recently introduced someone special to your friends or family or vice versa, but it's almost like there's a blessing or an approval. So someone feels like things are more official. There is a sense of uh, something being quite official here with the Four of Wands. So uh, they're determined to make things official maybe, uh, or they feel like they have some sort of support, uh, or they have approvals or blessings to be with you. Uh, or people, it's almost like redemption even as well. There might be someone here who feels like they've redeemed themselves, uh, but there is what can be seen as a support network or people celebrating for your union, for your connection in favor of this person. So there's someone here who feels supported, okay, in some way. And I say support also because of the quite intimidating large uh, castle or building here, uh, village, whatever it is here in the foreground and, uh, sorry, in the background. And I feel it is certainly pointing to strong foundations. Something being quite strong, quite strong and mighty and imposing. Okay, could even be a uh, sense of intimidation here. I don't think so though. I think it's more celebrating union or someone is seriously considering a long-term relationship with you. Now, there could also be someone who sees you as a future partner uh, romantically, like a future spouse someone possibly reconsidering uh, considering marriage or remarriage with you as well, Pisces. So that's very, very exciting. Now, there's also this Seven of Cups that's coming up here. So for some of you, there could be someone here who's emotionally a little bit all over the place right now. The Seven of Cups can often point to quite an overwhelming energy. There's a lot of different thoughts. These thoughts in turn are causing a lot of different emotions. Thoughts are very scattered, emotions are scattered, and this person could be a little bit overwhelmed. Sometimes the seven can be seen as a card of daydreaming. I feel like the silhouetted figure here, the clouds, it's all very foggy or dreamlike. Could be even be a little bit of fantasy. There could be someone here who's really fantasizing about you, Pisces, about a future with you, uh, about you intellectually, romantically, creatively, sexually. There's a little, it could even be that they're dreaming about you. So maybe you're coming up in someone's dreams because cups are emotions and often the water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpios, they tend to be empaths and they tend to be quite in tune with emotions, um, premonitions, uh, just feeling their way through life, making a judgment based on their feelings. And it could be that there's a, a water sign who's doing these things around you or in regards to you, 
or B, it could be that someone is feeling emotionally a little bit all over the place. They don't really know what they want. Okay, maybe they're celebrating in the present. They're celebrating when things are good between the two of you. But when things become a little bit upside down, which the hangman can indicate, suddenly they're not really sure about what to do. There could be a set of circumstances. You might eat, read, uh, sorry, excuse me, you might reach each side of the spectrum. Okay, you might have a very good period or a very good circumstance in this time frame. But you might also have something that might throw you off a little bit or this person will feel like they're thrown off. Um, but there's certainly are going to be a time where their judgment is impaired or feels clouded or it could be that they're not sure about what they want. They're not sure. They might want to put the brakes on things. They might not be in a healthy state to be making major decisions around your relationship or marriage or reconnecting. There could be a lot happening for this person, maybe with other things that have nothing to do with you, Pisces. Maybe with health, maybe with their mental health, physical health, maybe with their job, maybe with other factors. But there could be a lot of different things that are impacting or making this person think otherwise. So it's not one specific thing. There's an uh, amalgamation of things. There's a plethora of things that are making this person feel either overwhelmed or feeling like they're unsure. Something about a selection process. They're umming and ahhing and maybe there's someone here who feels like they have unrealistic fantasies about you. Maybe there's someone here who feels like they've um, you might have unrealistic expectations or fantasies of them it could be an element of pressure and pressure has come up in the form of the hangman here uh, the hangman is seen as punishment um, introversion imbalance something that's not right something that's not upright and um, active now for some of you it could be someone that feels like you're punishing them maybe silent treatment maybe you've ended contact maybe you've blocked them maybe you're doing something to punish them to spite them to hurt them pisces because they could be feeling that with the hangman here uh, the hangman is left in suspense it could be that someone feels something about time pressure or they feel like things have been held in suspense or will be held in suspense time will just stop something like that could be coming up around you and this person And it could definitely be if you're going through this period where, you know, you've had the highs, you've had the happy times and now come more serious times and suddenly this person uh, is not acting the way you thought they would, is not reacting the way you thought they would, is not conducting themselves uh, in, in a manner you thought was, was alike to their personality, to what you know about them so far or however long you've been with this person. But the hangman is that introversion and punishment and, and suspense essentially yes absolutely can be that they feel like they're held in suspense for what for one reason or another but the halo here could be a fire sign sun okay aries sagittarius leo uh it is seen as a, a halo or even like a martyr's halo a bright idea an epiphany a realization and I feel for some of you, someone needs to go through this energy so they have that epiphany. Someone needs to be upside down. They need to be imbalanced. And look, we need contrast in our lives. Some things are white, some things are black. Sometimes we have things that are shades of gray. But if we don't have contrast, how can we value something that's good in our lives? How can we appreciate something that's good in our lives? How can we know when something is toxic, when something is negative, when something is bringing us down, when we do not feel something that is the other to that? So there's definitely someone here who's having contrast, um, maybe even second thoughts um, about the situation, about the way they acted, the way they're carrying themselves or the way they're behaving in your connection here as well. Um, but there could be someone here who feels like they're being punished by you. Um, who feels like they're left hanging. Um, they feel like things are inconclusive somehow, potentially. I will leave your reading at that, Pisces. Thank you again for tuning in. Please don't forget to leave behind a like or a subscribe or a share. That would be very much appreciated. Otherwise, I'll catch you next time. Thanks again, everyone. Bye for now.